It's been 15 years since a chef named John Shank showed me how to make this broccoli rabe with uh, garlic gratin, and at the time it was really new to me. Since then, I've completely integrated it and all of its permutations. So we're going to start with uh, already cooked broccoli rabe, poached, um, until it's, you know, crisp tender, as you would say. Not mushy, but certainly limp. And bright green. Fair amount of oil, a couple tablespoons, maybe four. And then a fair amount of garlic too, five, six cloves, peeled and cut into slivers. You want to cook this slowly because garlic treated gently like this, you can use a lot. You can use twice as much of this. It would still be great. It's going to become very sweet and a little bit uh, crisp. Okay, so that's simmering away and we're just going to chop this broccoli, Rob. I've drained it. I've squeezed the excess moisture out of it. And to make it easier to handle and to eat, we're going to chop it up. And winding up with bite-sized pieces. I have about a minute to go on this garlic here. You can do this with any green you can name. Spinach is kind of the obvious choice. Broccoli is great. Cauliflower, which is not green, but you can treat it as if it were. Cabbage, anything in that family, bok choy. You can see the garlic becoming brown. Some of the pieces are completely brown. Some of them are just crisping at the edges, just about ready. You don't want anything to get really any browner than, than golden brown. Okay, and then in goes the, the broccoli rabe. some salt and pepper. Toss that with the garlic. This, this stage is really a minute. You're just really tossing the cooked garlic with the broccoli rabe and the oil. And that'll go into any kind of nice oven-proof dish that you have and that you'd like to use for this. Of course, now you could eat this like this, and it would be terrific. But to make it killer, sprinkle it with Parmesan. And this could be blue cheese or a mixture of Parmesan and blue cheese is great. Probably best, the best combination, Parmesan and breadcrumbs. But Parmesan alone, fantastic. And then into a moderate oven, say 350, could be as high as 400 until the Parmesan melts and browns a little, which will probably be about 10 minutes been about 15 minutes closer. You see the Parmesan's browned and crusted a little bit, not entirely melted everywhere. You've got this variety of different uh, states of Parmesan-ness. And the broccoli rob is a little darker, obviously, but um, really beautiful and very hot. So you can try this with any number of vegetables you want, but this is really a supremely variable, flexible recipe. But this, this version is really where you should start because it is ideal.